Hello everyone, I'm Chi Chi Lai. The title of our paper is RIT1 KDM Security via Reusable Homorphic Extractor. This is a joint work with Feng Hao and Zhe Dong. When considering security for encryption schemes, we always assume that the messages are independent of a secret key. In this case, even the message M is chosen by the adversary, he can still get no information on M from the corresponding server test. However, in some situations, the plain text message depends on the secret key. In this special case, the previously semantic security seems to be insufficient to providing security. To solve the security issue, the notion of KDM security has been proposed. And the relationship between the message and the secret key can be generally described by certain function class F from secret key space to message space. In this case, the query from the adversary is modded as a function F, and the answer from the challenger is the server test of FSK. Formally, the KDM security can be described by a security, security game between the challenger and the adversary in the following way. At the beginning, the challenger first choose a random bit, and then send the master public key to the adversary. Then the adversary can conduct key extraction and KDM queries. During that process, the challenger answers KDM queries according to the previously chosen B. Finally, the adversary responds a bit B prime. We see we see that the adversary wins the game if B equals B prime. In particular, the KDM queries are formed by functions from KDM challenge function class, and if B equals one, the challenger returns the encryptions of functions of secret key. Otherwise, the challenger returns the encryption of zero. In this formal definition, the class of function f chosen by the adversary is an important parameter of KDM security, which is called KDM challenge function class. Clearly, the larger challenge function class means the stronger ability of the adversary. And we have tried to enlarge KDM function class from secular function to a fine function and then to projective function and general bounded size circuit. Besides, there is also another important parameter, the number n bar of different public keys in the security game. In a more general case, we call this as KDM n bar security. There exist many PKE or IBE schemes that are KDM circuit with respect to different KDM challenge function class and different number of public keys. In particular, all the schemes are based on various assumptions such as DDH, DCR, QR, LW, LPN, or CDH. However, all those existing schemes have the common drawback their information rate are quite small. So, our main question in this paper is that how to construct a KDM NBAR circle PKE with optimal information rate? And uh, the main result of this paper consists of KDM 1 circle PKE with optimal information rate. KDM NBAR circle PKE with optimal information rate for unbounded polynomial NBAR. KDM NBAR circle IBE with optimal information rate for unbounded polynomial NBAR. In addition, the above PKE or IBE is also leakage resilient with optimal leakage rate against block leakage function. Here, I focus on the first result, and the others can be viewed as its extensions. In order to describe our technique in a more clear way, we adopt the following framework view. First, uh, this paper tells us that homomorphic WGPS implies KDM1 security. Second, Berkowski's et al.'s paper tells us that batch encryption plus all operation implies KDM1 
plus and uh, uh, leakage resilience. However, the parameters in those two papers are a little bit restricted. So we we'll try to improve that prior result in the following three aspects. First, achieving optimal information rate. Second, set unbounded polynomial on bar. Third, generalize the result to the IBE setting. Inspired by the two papers, we consider whether we can get much better KDM circuit construction from WPS with, with additional structure plus homomorphic structure. Of course, before this, we should introduce the building blocks uh, WPS and the homomorphic structure. A weak hyperbolic system consists of four algorithms. The first one is the center of algorithm, which outputs a pair of PK SK. The second one is a valid income solution algorithm, which outputs a valid server type city and its income solution key. The third one is the invalid income solution algorithm, which outputs an invalid server type city star. The fourth one is that of decomposing the server test using the SIGT key. Normally, the required WPS should satisfy the following three properties. The first one is correctness. It specifies that the encapsulated key from the valid, uh, valid encapsulation algorithm should be equivalent to that of the decomposition algorithm. The second one is the server test indistinguishability. It specifies that even given six key, the adversary still cannot distinguish the valid server test from the corresponding invalid one. The third one is an information theoretical property. In particular, it specifies that given the public key and the invalid server test city star, the remaining entropy of k prime is still larger than w. Additionally, we still need the following useful structure of weak HPS. The first, the secret key is the vector from Zb to n. Second, given vector k prime, the invalid server c star can be simulated faithfully. Third, the decoupled solution of an invalid server test city star through using secret key vector x equals vector x plus vector k prime, where vector k prime is uh, related to the invalid server test city star. Besides the weak HPS, we also need to introduce homomorphic structure as a building block. Before this, we review the definition of a planned randomly structure. Generally, an efficient computable function structure from x times s to y is called to be E structure if the output of E structure Rs is statistically close to uniform. Here, the source S should have enough conditional mean entropy. And the homomorphic structure with respect to a function class H means that for any function small h in uh, class big H, it holds the output of extractor times HS equals extractor H prime X S. Here, H prime is an invertible function and efficiently computable given corresponding function H. With the above two building blocks, we can describe our basic schemes in the following way. First, the KG algorithm is that run the center up algorithm of WGPS and output the corresponding PK SK. Second, the, the encryption algorithm is that run the valid encapsulation algorithm of WGPS to get uh, uh, a valid server type city and its encapsulated key vector key, and then compute the server test in this way. Now we analyze the KDM security of the above construction. For secret key vector x and the KDM query function h from secret key space to message space, 
it holds the original KDM sulfur test is indistinguishable from the below randomness sulfur test through using properties and the additional structure of WGPS. So we get a conclusion. We indeed, we indeed can prove the security for just one KDM sulfur test. Clearly, from WGPS and homomorphic extractor, a restricted KDM1 security scheme can be constructed. However, it seems that the above proof technique can only support one KDM query, as its indistinguishability relies on entropy of the secret key, and we cannot ensure the enough entropy for more than one KDM server test. So we need to conquer the dilemma. How to argue the normal KDM security for the above uh, basic construction? Here we need to introduce the leverage, uh, introduce and leverage the correlated source security of extractor. Next, let me first introduce the definition of this required property, and then see how to employ it to achieve KDM security. More formally, we see that a instructor satisfy correlated source security with respect to a function class f. If for any function fi in big, fun uh, big class f, the outputs of extractor function are statistically close to uniform. Even the source of extractor has been applied to many different functions from f1 to fq, where q is an unbounded polynomial in the security parameter. Uh, with this correlated source security, I'm observing the structure of all KDM server tests. We noted that if we treat vector x plus vector ki prime as a shift function of vector x, and the used extractor indeed satisfy correlated source security with respect to shift functions, then the KDM server test should be indistinguishable from the below random server test. Clearly, we succeed to bypass the above dilemma for the restricted KDM security through using the correlated source security of the extractor. Back to high-level high level building block, we can see it more clearly. In particular, with leveraging the correlated source security of extractor, we can achieve the normal KDM1 security. Furthermore, we need to consider how to instantiate the required building blocks. First, we find that batch encryption is already implies a weak, a weak HPS with three useful additional structures. Second, the required extractor can be constructed from TDH or RWE. Now, we have obtained a KDM circle PKE scheme from weak HPS and extractor. However, it is still far away from our desired target, optimal information rate. So next, we consider how to improve information rate through further using reusable property and block source setting. First, let us analyze the information rate of our already obtained KDM scheme. In particular, for such a server test, its information rate is the length of mu over the length of whole server test. Clearly, this rate is equivalent to order 1 over the security parameter. Here, we use w to denote the output length of extractor. Also, we have um, thus relationships among the um, sizes. Next, I first describe the reusable property of the extractor and show how to enlarge information rate from it. Generally, the reusable property of extractor means that one source can be repeatedly used for many randomness ri for i is children from 1 to t. Even in this case, the output of extractor are still indistinguishable from uniform. 
through using the reusable for version of uh, instructor, the server test can be run as this one. In this case, information rate is approached 1 over R over W plus 1 for sufficient large T. Thus, the information rate in this case is about 1 over constant, which is, which is much better than above 1 over lambda, but still far away from optimal 1. Furthermore, we noted that if we're replacing the above reusable uh, instructor with one in blog sort setting, we can encrypt many more plan tests in one server test. Here, the instructor in the blog source uh, setting means that one copy of the instructor can be repeatedly used for different blocks of a secret key. And uh, um, secret key BK consists of a different white key. Is, is, is used as a block source in the computation of instructor. In this case, we notice that the information rate becomes WDT over the whole size of a server test, which is approximate to WD over R plus WD. And uh, this rate is become uh, optimal if D is larger than is, is large enough such that size R equals small o WD. Up until now, we finally get KDM1 KDM security with optimal information rate. In fact, we almost obtain one desired KDM circle PKE scheme, except for two important parameters for KDM security, KDM challenge function class and the number of different pairs of public keys. Next, we first focus on the challenge function class and then consider the number n bar. In particular, from the server test form of different steps of the above analysis, we can easily know its information rate and the KDM function classes. The first function class is a function uh, as a foreign function from Z, B to N to the mass space M. The second function class is a generalized affine functions from Zb to n to the mass space m to t. In fact, affine functions are general enough since it can be amplified to any bounded size circuit through using garbled circuit. However, when achieving the optimal information rate, we have to set the secret key in a um, block setting. And in this case, the function class is the block of fine functions from Zb to n prime times d to m to t times d, where n equals n prime times d. Clearly, the block of fine function is weaker than regular bit of fine function. So we need to consider, is it possible to further amplify the block of fine function class just as done for regular fine function? Next, we consider how to amplify the block of fine challenge function in the case of um, optimal information rate. Before this, the most widely used amplification approach is due to Abraham's work in Eurocrypto 2011. It should be significant to instructive and instructive to reveal Abraham's approach and his essential idea. The advantage of Abraham's approach is that of achieving KDM security for any bounded size circuit. However, its disadvantage is that of leading to serious loss in information rate. So it seems that we cannot apply uh, Abraham's approach directly. This is because block of fine function is weaker than the regular affine function, and uh, the right use view affect the information rate of all KDM circuit scheme. So uh, next we need to con uh, consider the further questions. First, how to amplify block of fine functions. Second, how to achieve optimal information rate. How to bypass this obstacle is all next, folks. Fortunately, 
After analysis, uh, analyzing uh, our problems work more deeply, we find his essential idea is to encode the label of GABO circuit into mass space, and all schemes satisfy this property. Moreover, we find that due to special structure of all mass space, we can adjust uh, parameters to offset the loss caused by the encoding of GABO circuits in the encrypted messages. So, for our KDM circuit PKE, we can apply file or block a file function in a perfect way. For many more details, please see our paper. Now, after putting all above things together, we get KDM1 circuit PKE for any bounded size circuit with optimal information rate. Besides, all the used building block can be extensioned from DDHRW and the details a uh, detailed random, random structure is also very, very interesting and can be found in our paper. Here, we have completed our, re our first result. We can achieve KDM1 cycle PKE with uh, optimal information rate. Next, we consider how to enlarge the number of different public keys. In order to do this, we roughly adopt the following three experts introduce the notion of B-based PKE and its useful property. Second, establish security reduction between KDM1 security and KDM bar security with respect to block of fine function. Third, instantiate PKE uh, BE with reusable property from DDHRWE. Up until now, uh, we have achieved uh, our second result, KDM number circuit PKE with the information rate. And the detailed, detailed construction can be found in your paper. Finally, we consider how to generalize our above result to IBE setting. In order to do this, we roughly adopt the following four steps. First, introduce a decent structure for IB-based IB, uh, IB weak HPS. Second, introduce the new concept of on-the-fly KDM security for PKE. Third, introduce a new compiler for KDM PKE to KDM IBE. Fourth, set a particular KDM challenge function class for IBE such that the information rate to be optimal. The detailed construction can also be found in your paper. Thank you for your attentions.